All right. Well, Sam, it was lovely to be here at the launch of this fantastic book, Jim Stein's My Journey. First up, how are you? Well, I'm pretty good. I mean, I have good days and bad days and, you know, I can be fine and then I'll have a sad moment. But within that sadness, I'm, I'm pretty good. I'm pretty good. I remember watching you during the the final um, well when Jim died and during the funeral everything thinking if it was me I'd want to curl up in a in a hole did you feel like that that time Luke you know what I did feel like that that day I got through it and the driving force for me was that if I lose it I really don't want to see my screwed up sort of teary <laughs> ugly face in some picture somewhere so I thought you know it sort of drove me I thought I will not I will not do that but that night I got home about nine o'clock and I vomited the whole night and I think that was because it's fairly unnatural to to go through a funeral and to be so stone-faced and I didn't feel cold but to present that yeah and it's so hard being the mother isn't it because you know you can't just look after yourself you've got the two kids no and that and that's exactly what happened I thought well right now I've got a role model how to get through this for the kids and if I fall apart when they face their own challenges in life how will they handle it? So I thought, I'll have to stay strong here. And it was tough. You know, there were moments when I just felt like, you know, what about me? You know, but now that they're stable, I've been able to take some time for me, which is really important. Oh, I think you're amazing. I really do. Um, this book, I know Jim uh, had wrote a lot of it himself without you actually knowing what was in it. Were you a bit nervous? <laughs> what did you say? Can you imagine? So nervous. It's like our dirty laundry in a book. It's like, oh, and you know, and because I've said and done things I'm not particularly proud of. And um, you know, I remember once he, we went to see our oncologist and Jim said, oh, well, Sam said this to me in ABCD and she's not, and I was so embarrassed. And you know, and uh, Grant said to me, Sam, well, maybe you need to learn like a child to um, speak to Jim with a different tone. And I'm like, oh. so, so I quite was there. I was really nervous. However, you know, it's, um, it's really honest and, you know, it's important because I think everyone, no matter who we are, will have um, things behind closed doors, skeletons in the closet, you know. Absolutely. And look, I think, you know, having to go through what you went through privately would be tough. To go through it publicly is so hard. Yeah. And I mean, even when Jim decided I want to write a book... I was like, gosh, haven't we done enough, you know, publicly? But I think I just don't, I, tr I take it seriously, like it's a serious topic and there's serious messages, but the whole process, I just think if I don't take it too seriously, it's okay. Yeah, I love it in the front of the book. He says, you know, to anyone who's been touched by cancer, may my story give you strength and hope. And that's probably his legacy isn't it one of them one of the many yeah absolutely and it, you know it's it's it can be cancer it can be any adversity mm. any challenge to find a resolution in life I don't think it's uh, the topic is you know it, it doesn't matter what topic it's just the messages of how to how to get through in life absolutely now the Melbourne Football Club let's be honest been a bit disappointing I happen to know because uh, we play basketball together that you are a very good basketballer have you thought of pulling on the jumper well you know what I thought I was better at basketball than I am I came <laughs> back with a vengeance as you know vomited on my first match very proud of that so so good so if that's anything to go by I don't think me putting on the jumper will help no <laughs> what do you think Jim would be thinking up there um, with Melbourne I mean it has to get better from here doesn't it yeah look I think that it's really tough and I I was thinking about that and reflecting on the football club and I I think the club is going through really difficult times but I think again why kick the boot in when we're down it's about everyone that's involved in the club more than ever we just have to keep stepping up and getting on with it and that's hard because I'm sure a lot of the members and supporters will say well We've been doing that for years and we've had enough. We just want results. But we don't have them right now, so by by being negative, it'll, it won't happen. So that's the only choice we've got, really. Yeah, and I think negative was one thing Jim wasn't, was it? So you've had a good teacher there. Yeah, exactly. There's just nothing to be gained from it. Yeah. Well, Sammy, great to see you. You're looking fantastic and um, we're all thinking of you and good luck, darling, and good luck with the book. It is absolutely amazing. It's amazing. Oh, thanks, Bridge. Thanks so much.